Hi guys, welcome back to the Nigerian Benz Lover YouTube channel. My name is Tunde and today I'm going to be talking to you about the S550, right? The S550 Coupe to be precise, right? Um, you guys chose the S550, you had the choice between the GLS 450, the 2020 GLS 450 and the 2015 S550 Coupe. And today I'm going to be giving you a walk around review on it, talking to you about the car and showing you around it and um, some of the awesome quirks and features I'm sure you are going to love, right? So um, let's get to it. For those of you who might not know much about the S-Class Coupe, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown. Hopefully I don't geek out. Okay, so the S-Class Coupe has had several nomenclature changes and has name changes over the years since as far back as the 1980s right so back in the 1980s the s-class coupe was known as the sec right so we had the 560 secs the 380 secs and the likes those gangster looking um s classes and then fast forward into the 90s the name was changed to the cl right so we had the cl coupe and it was kind of like its own class and like in its own way it was like okay you don't want the s-class so you want the s-class with the two doors you want the you know the grand tora you get we'll get back to that on the grand tora so um the cl was like the coupe like the s-class coupe version and uh, the cl came in several engine variants from the cl 600 the cl 500 and i believe there was also a cl 55 yeah so the name when the name um, the nomenclature with the cl name went on for about 20 years or so because we had the CL that was based on the W140 S class. We had the CL that was based on the W220 S class. The CL that was based on the W221 S class, right? And then, so fast forward to now, we are with the S Coupe, right? They changed the name from the CL to the S Coupe, right? And now in the S Coupe range, we have the S550 like this one. We have the S63 and we also have the s65 that's the one with the v12 and that one is pretty rare right so um let's go into the future right so the sl um, um so the sl is the two-door roadster version of like the s class right it's supposed to be a sporty light i mean sl sports lights supposed to be a sporty light you know roadster for cruising high speed and all that kind of stuff and um, it has been around since as far back as the 1950s right and now um, with the car buying markets people are no more buying um sedans they're not more buying coupes and they're definitely no, no more buying roadsters right so the sl has been performing very badly in terms of um selling and you know it's a very very expensive car i think a brand new one would be going for around i'm not sure so just read what i wrote on the text yeah around around that price okay so and um the sales are really bad and they were thinking of discontinuing discontinuing the car but you know it would make sense to discontinue such an icon right because the sl was like it's one of the most iconic cars in the mercedes-benz lineup we'll talk about that in another video moving forward mercedes-benz i decided okay they are going to combine the sl and the s coupe and just you know make, make, keep keep the sl monica right so um this picture might be what the sl might look like but they're already spy shots of the sl you know um, driving around they're already testing them they are mules or what i like to call them mules test mules of um what's uh the prototype of what the cars would be right they're already testing them out and already you can see them with their soft tops and hard top versions and uh so um let's um, i don't know how the future will be but that's fine or whatever so the s-class coupe is what i would like to call a grand tora right so okay before we delve into it a grand tora is a car that's like it travel you can drive across the country you can drive it cross country cross continent you get so like it's you know it's for the jet set life you know long distance driving long distance high speed driving you have to emphasize on that long distance high speed driving across states continents you know and you know you, you just sit down you put your foot down it's very comfortable it's relaxed you know um that's why sports cars like the ferrari and the likes do not count as grand tourers because they are 
really stiff, they are loud, all that. So, right, so the S Class Coupe is the perfect Grand Tourer, in my opinion. Why? Because it has a big engine under the hood, it's a 4.7 liter V8 generating around 449 horsepower. I mean, these days that might seem insufficient, but in my opinion, that's more than enough. And this car is capable of doing um, 250 kilometers easy, right? Which I think should be more than enough for a lot of you petrol heads and you fake petrol heads that can't even do more than 100. Anyway, another great feature about Grand Tourers is the overall comfort inside, right? Like you, you, they kind of cocoon you inside the car so you can enjoy the great views but you're not going to hear any noise like this s550 now has double paned windows it has a heated steering wheel it has um a 360 degree camera this is from 2015 mind you this was just catching up a 360 degree camera self um self-driving autonomous driving to a degree i believe it's level three autonomous driving and it has you know radar Pack assist it has all the features you would need for like that lazy drive across the coast and don't think it's it's a, a slouch if you get what i mean i mean even the standard um version this one right has a very very um peppy engine and also it has a very very nice exhaust note why don't we give the exhaust note a listen yeah So another thing about a Grand Tora is the back seat space, right? Because I mean, you might want to go along with your friends when you travel, you know, or maybe you just want to pick up some ladies. <laughs> friends, okay. Um, so uh, getting into the back is not like all these normal cars, right? It's not like all these normal coupes. Instead, you pull this latch and then the seats kind of, you know, luxuriously slide forward. And then you now have to get in now for me it's kind of awkward because i am well i am yeah you know so um okay i'm gonna get in as cool as i can well um okay Ooh. Ah. okay yeah and uh now putting it to the back and it is actually really spacious in here okay it's not all right it is yeah, so it's actually pretty spacious in here. Um, yeah, it's really awesome, but there isn't much in the back seat. I mean, you don't even have um, controls for the windows, right? It's the driver. You have to ask the driver nicely, like, yo, please, can you, like, you know, wind the windows down for me? Press a draw. Or, um, I don't know, strangle him. I don't know, that's you. That's up to you. But you have seat warmers here and that is pretty nice you know on a long trip maybe the weather is really cold and you want to warm your butt you can use the seat warmers so that's a pretty awesome feature so getting out um you can just skip over like five seconds or ten seconds because this would not look pretty okay so leg out oh god yeah sorry leg out then butt out swiftly yeah see dignity still in check okay so another cool feature of the s550 or most s classes too is that you can control the passenger seat from the driver's seat right so let me turn the car on right so maybe your passenger just left the car or you know or you're just like me and you want to mess or you're just like me and you want to mess with them you know so um button on check this out check this out right check this out you can move the seat you have full control of the seats right the controls on your side the driver's side mimic, mimics um every other thing of the 
passenger seats so i think that's a really cool feature to use to mess with your guys or just to you know put everything back in place when a passenger leaves the car so another great feature of a very good grand tour is a large boot you know a large trunk depending on where you're watching this from right so you want to have a very big trunk like a trunk big enough to you know carry all the luggage and all the stuff you buy along the way as you travel across the globe right but one fun feature about the s550 coupe is there is no um boot opener like there's no button to press there's no nothing so how do you open the boots yeah okay so there are several ways you can open the boots and i'll start with the key yeah so with the key you know you open the boot normal it goes open and from the key you can also close the boots right self-closing yeah the other option is from inside the car as usual blah 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 but what if you don't want to bring out the key you know you're like me you like to keep the key in your pocket and you know all that well like i said there is no button to press there's nothing here at all to open the boots so this takes a little bit of getting used to but this is something that all s550 coupe owners are used to all right so check this out foot under it opens how cool is that right and if you want to close the boots again foot under it closes like how awesome is that oh ps it took me like 20 minutes to get used to that right but this is super cool this is super cool don't embarrass me again again oh let me not spoil the car but you get what i mean and these are soft clothes um trunks and all that everything the doors and the trunk are soft clothes let's not forget about the design of the car you know the beautiful curving lines the minimalism you know and at the front you know with the uh swavosky or is this Swarovski? just read what i wrote there right on the um headlamps and it's really amazing it's like crystals i think i believe 95 crystals embedded into the headlamps and i mean come on uh, also i want to give a special thanks to mayfair autos for allowing me to you know play around with the car and check out the cool features and um you know don't forget to like subscribe share with your friends and also follow me on instagram at malik bto follow benzlova on instagram too at benzlova.ng and uh yeah see you in the next one